this is me at the most prestigious and grandest middle school math competition in the US. Math Counts Nationals. It's like the Olympics of math, but with less muscle and more brain power. I thought this would be just like any other math competition I had done, but boy, this was so much more amazing. The top four mathletes from each state were selected for this amazing event, and I got an all expenses paid trip to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This trip was an incredible adventure, and I'm here to give you a sneak peek of all the math-tastic adventures that I had. From solving complex equations to making new friends, this trip was nothing short of amazing. So sit back, grab a calculator, or don't, and join me on this mad venture of a lifetime. You see, us West Coasters are allowed to fly one day early so we can get used to the time zone. The California coach, one teammate, and I came early, but the rest of the team arrived the next day, but we were excited to be here and settled down. When we arrived, we were greeted by the most amazing hotel in downtown DC. It was huge, like a math team palace, and I saw a library from my room and I was like, I gotta check that out. And let me tell you, the best part of the day was when I picked up an amazing Math Counts of California t-shirt from my coach. I felt like a math superhero ready to take on the world. I was so excited to wear it and show off my state pride. I hope you're ready for some math filled shenanigans because that's exactly what I'm about to give you. The next day started with a healthy breakfast and let me tell you, it's hard to focus on math when you're hungry. Most of the participants arrived throughout the day. Math Counts has some really fun traditions. Each team creates their own state t-shirt and pins. And then we trade pins with each other. It's like a game of pin roulette. Everyone is trying to collect pins for as many different states as possible. Our coach made an amazing t-shirt design and one of my teammates hand created pins at the last minute. Since California was one of the top states, our pins were in really high demand. Some people were even willing to trade six pins just to get one California pin. Capitalism baby! I heard some people were playing poker and using pins instead of chips. One of my teammates somehow even managed to get an entire collection with every state's pins. Unfortunately for me, I had to miss out on the evening presentation and all the pin exchange fun as I was participating in the National Science Bowl semifinals which happened to be on the same day. The NSB semifinal was a virtual event with multiple rounds from morning to late evening. So I was stuck in my room for most of the day. During a break, I went down for registration and picked up my swag bag, which included an awesome backpack, pencil pouch, and a TI-84 calculator with the Math Counts logo. They had a lot of cool props, so I took some fun pics with my teammate and coach before sprinting back to my room for the next science full round, not wanting to miss it. Throughout the day, I was running back and forth between my room and the Math Counts events and I kept changing from my NSB t-shirt and the Math Counts t-shirt. It was a long and tiring day, but it was all worth it as our Science Bowl team placed third and qualified for the in-person Science Bowl event in DC. In July, which by the way if you'd like to hear about, leave a comment and I can share my Science Bowl national experiences. Finally, I got done at 9pm and quickly ran down to meet my team and plan our strategy for the team round. During the event, each state has to prepare a cheer. We couldn't think of anything funny, so we decided to just shout, we have no cheer, because we literally had no cheer. But we had a lot of fun goofing around while practicing for it. Some states had some really creative cheers that I wish I could share with you. The competition day had finally arrived and I was feeling a mix of jet lag, nerves and excitement. We walked into the competition room and found the designated table for California. All the teams did their cheers and it was a lot of fun. 
The competition started and the test was hard. Well, what did I expect? It was nationals after all. When it was over, we started comparing answers and realized that most of us had made a bunch of sillies. We had all prepared hard and came in with extremely high hopes, so we were a little disappointed. But we soon got over our disappointment and started on our trip to the many awesome places in DC. We decided to take the subway and explore the city, but got lost and ended up going in the opposite direction. After a few more subway rides and a lot of laughs, we finally made it to the National Mall. There was a long line of food trucks and we enjoyed a nice lunch. We walked around and admired the Lincoln Memorial. Our coach tried to take group pictures of us, but it was a complete disaster. I'm sure we could have made a fun blooper video with all the bad pics. There was a giant reflecting pool which we tried to calculate the area of. We also engaged in, you know, your stereotypical nerd discussion like the probability a force of a billion newtons will knock over the extremely tall Washington Monument, which we then later visited. We walked to the Washington Monument, one of the tallest buildings in the world. We even got to go to the very top. There were many windows and the view was breathtaking and made me realize how beautiful Washington DC was. The elevator ride reminded me of the scenes from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. You can find a link to the clip in the description. We also checked out the White House, but didn't manage to spot the president. Maybe next time. On our way back, instead of getting lost in the subway again, we decided to walk back. It was a long walk, but it was a great bonding experience and we had a lot of fun. Next morning was filled with excitement as it was countdown day. As we lined up alphabetically with all the states, we were given thunder sticks and the energy of the room was electric. As our state was announced, we ran down with all the enthusiasm we had, feeling the thrill of being part of such a big event. After some speeches, they announced the top 10 states. We all cheered when California was announced as the 6th place team. The excitement didn't stop there, as they announced the top 12 individuals who would make the countdown. Bye in the first round of the countdown competition. 
The number four C is Alexander Wong from New Jersey. Owen Gotti from Georgia. One of my teammates C, placed third the in the written competition, and we all cheered so loud for him. The countdown round was nothing short of spectacular. It felt like watching the Super Bowl with front row seats. The competition was fierce and the atmosphere was nerve wracking. Make sure to check out the full video of the countdown round linked in the description. As the winner was announced, there was a lot of cheering and clapping with the Thunder And the recipient of a $20,000 Donald G. Weiner College Scholarship and a trip to U.S. Space Camp, Alan Ewan! all got our scores and rankings, and while I was a little disappointed with my placement, I was still happy to be in the top 15%. After lunch, we got to watch the Bad Video Challenge, and it was amazing to see the creative ways the participants explained math problems. We even laughed about how one of the solutions to a geometry problem involved measuring with a ruler. All participants voted and decided the winner. That evening, there was an awesome party with a dance stage, fun carnival games like basketball, skee-ball, and much more. There was even a giant screen where people were playing video games on. Apparently, Math Counts put together hundreds of monitors to make that screen. The food could have been a better, but everything else about the party was top notch, and we all had a blast. Last day, I said goodbye to my teammates and other participants and decided to check out the library, or at least what I thought to be a library, near my hotel. Interestingly, it turned out to be an Apple store. It was like finding a diamond in the forest, or should I say, finding an iPhone in a bookshelf. It was one of the most spacious and amazing Apple stores I had seen. I had fun playing around with the different eye products. Later that summer, I got a chance to come back to Washington DC for the Science Bowl Finals. But that's a story for another day. Thanks to Matt Counts for the incredible experience and all the cool swag. If you want to make it to the Matt Counts National Competition, make sure to check out the ultimate study guide for Matt Counts video. It's like a roadmap to success filled with all the best resources for preparation. If you found this interesting, 
please don't forget to like and subscribe and ask any questions you have in the comment section below about Math Counselor Science Bowl.